the Bible doesn't say that the truth will set you free. It says the truth you know will set you free. Is that God wants to rip you out of the prisons of your life. The things that you have built fortresses around your heart and said, God, I've got my heart. I'm going to protect that. So many people are waiting for God to do something. Perhaps God is waiting for you to do something. You rule your world, not with your body. You don't rule your world with your strength, but you rule your world with your mouth. One of the worst prayers you can pray is, God, just let me have enough. If you have enough, you don't have enough because number one, if you have enough, you've still got to have some left over to give to hungry people, to give to naked people, to give that the gospel might be preached. So therefore, any lack or orphan spirit or abandonment or pain that you have in your body, your soul, your spirit, God wants to come in. He wants to heal you. He wants to radically transform your life so that you know who you are and you're like, I can't help myself. I can't help myself, but love every single person and then bring them into the palace, bring them to the table and show them who they truly are. That is what our God has called us to do. They said to the Lord, increase our faith, give us more faith. But Jesus said, you don't need more faith. There is no more or less faith. There is a praise that makes other people hungry. There's a praise that makes other people want what you have. When they look at you when you're in praise and worship, do they think that you're distracted or are you completely lost in the presence of God? Is there a hunger in you that makes other people hungry? But God is a God who formed you in your mother's womb. You were not a mistake. He so desired you and wanted you on this earth to breathe life into you, to do and have relationships with you he adores you he longs to be with but you now, here's the toughie if you want to really push the limits on what God wants to do for you he says I'll give you everything you can think when we worship God demons get nervous when we worship God sickness has to back up when we worship God things start to shake and things start to break because when we worship God we're reminding the devil that he can't do what we can do only we can sing the song that we've been washed in the blood of the lamb I wish I had a worshiper in the building